This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. A battle is brewing between protesters occupying Auckland's Aotea Square and the City Council. Demonstrators who've been camped out there for nearly seven weeks are tonight vowing to stay put. This comes after the Council took legal action to have them removed. Kim Vanell's been across developments. She joins us now live. Kim. Good evening. You can see protesters are gathering here behind me. They're about to go into a meeting to discuss what their next move is. But essentially, this is now a stalemate. The judge hasn't come back with his decision. Protesters say they're going to fight this and they hope it can be through the legal system. But if there's one message the council sent today, it's that it's had enough. While protesters have been counting the days, Auckland Council owners of Aotea Square has been counting the cost. The grass is damaged beyond repair and may well be getting to the point now where it is. Hiring lawyers to seek an injunction, which if granted will give protesters 48 hours to leave or the court can order them removed by police. Everyone has the right to freedom of expression, including the freedom to seek, receive and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form. It doesn't say you have to have a council permit first. The council claims the Bill of Rights and so freedom of speech must come second to council bylaws bylaws which occupiers are breaching. So they're out trying to create up just cut and paste bylaws to put them together and try and make up doing what we're doing is wrong. Outside Occupy HQ, opinion is divided. Um, I think it's probably time they went. I don't think they're doing any harm. While inside, our cameras capture this stouch as Councillor Cameron Brewer arrives. We've spent $46,000 on security. She's spending on contractors and cleaning, consultants, Cameron. The books aren't even open. You don't even know where millions of dollars are. people have spent $80 million on this How much? The council says that by erecting tents and other man-made structures, that things like pegs could be damaging a waterproof membrane, which sits just below the surface. That membrane protects the recently rebuilt Civic car park. Brewer says that's just the beginning. Paving stones that will need to be replaced, cleaning, we've had $46,000 on security, uh, and, the, and not to mention all the legal costs. All up, the council says the cleanup bill could surpass $150,000, a costly process paid for by ratepayers. So, Kim, what happens next? Well, protesters tell us they've been in talks with the council about moving to an alternate location. They say that this protest is symbolic and that the location itself isn't as important. But the council issued us a statement today saying that they had been in talks with protesters about moving to an alternate location, but that all of their reasonable requests had been rejected. And the mayor says he won't make any more, any more comment on this until the judge has released his decision. Right, thanks, Kim. Kim Vanell live in Auckland's Altea Square. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.